Hello and welcome to the workshop. In this video, we're gonna get started on the front bogey for the H2 Atlantic. Here are the primary components for the bogey. We have the frame stretcher in the middle, which is cast gun metal. We have two steel uh, frames themselves and two equalizer beams with integral axle boxes. And we have the four cast iron wheels here. Now you'll notice that this has a little bit of machining done on it. I, I tried to get ahead of myself and start on this. A um, little secret here just to prove that I'm definitely not the expert that some people think I uh, might be. Uh, this is my first stretcher, uh, which I totally made a pig's ear of. The, uh, these uh, dimensions here are perfect, but the whole thing is at an angle, like a nice parallelogram. So uh, I, I uh, had to get a new one, which is here. Um, so I'll probably show the machining of this in more detail as I do that bit. Um, what I will be uh, cutting to is a little bit of footage I, I took when I was machining this. I mentioned to Mr. Factotum I'm just starting gunmetal and he wished me luck and I can definitely understand why. It's very soft so as you're machining it the burrs build up and uh, I'm not using a wiggler I'm trying to go to my etched lines uh, my scribed lines and then the burr curls over on top of the uh, scribed line which is certainly a challenge. I think I've overcome it with some very light cuts to establish my um, axes and then lock that axes and I think that's working well, but that's primarily why I messed up on this one. If you're wondering why I'm not using this wiggler or the cylindrical wiggler I got from Moore and Wright, uh, the answer is um, that this has a plain shank and the collets I have for my milling cutter are threaded. So this uh, goes in here uh, and it doesn't actually have any positive uh, locking whatsoever. So although it's fairly tough in this arrangement, what's happening is when there's lots of vibration, i.e. when the wiggler is wiggling against something, um, it starts to move around and it, it throws off the readings a fair bit. So um, my next job at some point is to use a single point uh, cutting tool to cut a 20 teeth per inch thread on this shank here and see if that works. I think this is a bit short uh, and the cylindrical one as well for a, a half inch solid shank and that should help me out greatly but in the meantime i'm just going to etched lines so the machining of those equalizer bars and axle boxes is really time intensive you've kind of seen what i've been doing on it already so what i'm going to do is get that done and cut back probably in the next video where i'll show you those pieces all faced up nicely and I'll do the same for this, um, albeit maybe only in one axis, so we can show the machining of the, the slots and the spaces and so on. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.